Medicare Part A is one of the original components of the federal health insurance program for Americans age 65 and older. It's the element that provides hospital insurance. In broad categories, Part A covers hospital care, skilled nursing facility care, nursing home care, as long as custodial care is not the only care you need, hospice, and home health services. Part A covers services like lab tests, surgeries, and doctor's visits, as well as supplies such as wheelchairs and walkers if they're considered medically necessary. If you're in a Medicare Advantage plan or other Medicare plan, there may be different rules, but your plan is required to provide at least the same coverage as original Medicare. Some of the things Medicare Part A does not cover include long-term care, most dental care, eye exams related to prescribing glasses, dentures, cosmetic surgery, acupuncture, hearing aids and exams for fitting them, and routine foot care. It's always a good idea to talk to your doctor or health care provider to make sure that what you need is covered by Medicare. Generally, there is no cost for Medicare Part A, but it doesn't mean you can incur no costs. There is an inpatient deductible as well as coinsurance. In 2018, the deductible is $1,340. If you have a hospital stay, there is a deductible for each benefit period. According to Medicare, a benefit period begins the day you're admitted as an inpatient in a hospital or a skilled nursing facility. The benefit period ends when you haven't gotten any inpatient hospital care for 60 days in a row. If you go into a hospital or a skilled nursing facility after one benefit period has ended, a new benefit period begins. You must pay the inpatient hospital deductible for each benefit period. There's no limit to the number of benefit periods. Besides the deductible, coinsurance can be involved. For 2018, you pay zero coinsurance days 1 through 60 for each benefit period. You pay $335 a day coinsurance days 61 through 90 for each benefit period. And you pay $670 a day coinsurance days 91 and beyond for each lifetime reserve day after day 90 for each benefit period. Medicare defines lifetime reserve days as additional days Medicare will pay for when you're in a hospital more than 90 days. You have 60 reserve days that can be used during your lifetime. For those days, Medicare pays all covered costs except for daily coinsurance. You pay all costs when you exhaust your lifetime reserve days. You're eligible to sign up for Part B Medicare when you turn 65. The seven-month initial enrollment period runs three months before your 65th birthday, the month you turn 65, and the three months after the month you turn 65. For example, if your birthday is in June, you can sign up for Part A beginning in March before your birthday through the September immediately after your birthday. To confirm your eligibility, check out the Medicare calculator below. There's also a link to the Social Security website where you can enroll online and a phone number if you want to call. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time we post new information.